So today I wanted to do a video on chin liposuction and um, I wanted to talk about my experience and how much it costs and kind of why I decided to do it. Um, so if you are going to comment something negative about plastic surgery or anything like that, uh, this is the only plastic surgery that I've ever gotten. So if you have something bad to say about something that is personally going on that makes me feel better, then you can just leave the video. Uh, clearly you're not a supporter of mine, so you do not need to be here. But if you're open to hearing about all about why I got it and how much it costs and all the whole process, I'm going to talk about it. For me, this is a really difficult video because I personally am a little bit embarrassed that I did this, even though at the end of the day, it is something so minor that I did to my appearance, but it made a huge difference. And I'll tell you what, like I wasn't really ever planning on doing it, um, but I just felt I needed to at a certain point. So, um, you know, some people, <laughs> some people get boob jobs, some people get BBLs, I got chin liposuction. To start off, um, I've always kind of had a double chin even when I was 120 pounds in high school. Looking back, I never had like a strong jawline. I still don't have like a super strong jawline, but it's much, much better than it was. Like it's genetic. My dad kind of had the same, like my chin went pretty much straight down and I didn't really have like a, an angle at all. Um, so I always thought like I had gained weight from medication in 2015 and I had always thought if I lose weight, like my double chin will go down because it was really bad. Like it would be really noticeable to me in videos and also in pictures. And it was just so apparent to me. And it almost felt to me like when I was like I felt like I looked a lot heavier than I even was. Like when I was 150 pounds, I looked like I weighed over 200 pounds from the shoulders up. And it really bothered me because I would see people who weighed a lot more than me, but they didn't have, you know, a double chin like that. Like it was so pronounced on my neck that it really bothered me. And so it had gotten worse with age and obviously I put on a little bit of weight, so it had gotten pretty bad. Um, and so I thought if I lose a little weight, I was doing keto at the time and when I was like researching all of this and uh, that's another reason I wanted to tell you guys about it so you didn't think like I lost my double chin from keto. Um, no, I did get chin liposuction and I would never try to hide that from you guys. I was just kind of embarrassed to bring it up, but you know what? It <laughs> Half the chicks you look at on Instagram, if not 75% of them have work done, they just don't talk about it. So I wanted to talk about it and keep it real with you guys. Um, so I, what really, really, you know, solidified that I wanted to do it was I had lost 20 pounds from doing keto and I did a video. I remember this specific video. It was my Windsor try on haul and almost all of the footage that I took for that video was me. Like I thought my body looked great but my chin was just like screaming at the camera the whole time like that's all I could stare at and I was like oh my god like it didn't get any better even though I lost 20 pounds so I was really frustrated at that point I felt like I'm putting so much work in I'm still not losing weight like I was 145 pounds and I still had like a severe double chin like the pictures that I show you I was 145 pounds I look much heavier in them um so that was uh, really hard um, and so what I did after that I had been researching for a long time but I found a doctor named Dr. Stan Caster he's in Tampa I started researching a lot on um, realself.com I really like that website it's very honest everyone seems to give their true honest advice um, and opinions of their surgeries so it seemed like he had a really, really great reviews, especially for liposuction and also um, chin lipo. And um, I would never ever look for like a deal on liposuction, but I will say he did have a special, like it wasn't, um, it was on real self. And I was like, it was like one area of lipo 
for two thousand dollars like 1950 or something and I was like that's all I need <laughs> like that's all I need I don't want my whole body lipoed I'm actually pretty happy with my body um, but my chin has just always bothered me so I wonder if this would apply to the chin area because um, I was thinking of going to him anyway so I'm like if there's a special deal here <laughs> like I'm gonna jump on it I ended up making a an appointment I was pretty nervous I went in filled out paperwork whatever it was just a consultation and it was like an hour away but you have to do a consultation for surgery uh, they told me what to expect on the day and since it was an hour away and I did it on like a Friday during the day they were like do you have a ride home and I was like oh I'll probably just stay at a stay at an Airbnb or something down the street I think I told them I was staying at a hotel or something or I would do that um, and I ended up booking an Airbnb for like a surgery stay basically it was perfect it was like $60 for the night um, and I just got the surgery and I was planning to uber to this Airbnb so I was like whatever I'm not gonna spend $200 a night on a hotel when I can get this nice little thing for one night um, so that's what I did that's what I planned I don't think uh, they usually do that they usually want you to have someone taking you uh, home but I was I knew I would be okay after surgery I've uh, done anesthesia before I was like I'll be fine dude don't worry so the cost like I said it was about two thousand dollars which is not bad um, I've heard it be a little bit more expensive than that like up to five thousand uh, dollars typically I think it's around like thirty five hundred so it was a pretty good deal and I they did have a payment plan I'm paying it off this month I have like a two hundred dollar payment left uh, I did a six month plan, no interest. So they do have those options uh, for a care credit credit card. That's what I did, paid it off in six months. Uh, so it's not like a debt of mine that I'm going to have, which is nice. It was in February. Hi guys. Oh my God. I'm so nervous right now. I'm getting like hives. I'm getting hives. I'm so nervous. I have my aligners in. These bad boys have been going well. I'm gonna be doing a whole video on that on uh, straightening my crooked teeth um, but that's been going well I am really nervous about today I'm really nervous to even film this video um, I am definitely not going to be filming the intro looking like this I am getting surgery today and I am getting surgery on something that is very emotional uh, for me because it's something that I have been literally so self-conscious about for I've been so self-conscious about it for years so hopefully I'll be okay I'm really nervous but just to show you like my chin before that's what it looks like it's like see what I mean how it just goes down and when I talk I went to my Airbnb and then I got an Uber to the surgeon's office. I was so nervous, you guys. I was really, really nervous. So they kind of took me in a room and they told me that we're gonna give you these drugs and they'll kick in in like half an hour to 45 minutes. And I'm like, great. So they gave me the drugs and I swear to God, I did not feel like loopy. I felt like I knew everything that was going on and I was just sitting there with like my socks on. They gave me like surgery socks. I had like my socks on, I had like a, uh, one of those doctor like blue robes on and I'm just sitting there like freaking the fuck out I had a lot of anxiety and they had given me like a Valium or something they gave me something um, but I still like I was so nervous about the process because I had never had any type of like surgery done when I was awake especially I was like oh my god I feel like this is gonna hurt because I'm super awake right now and like I didn't feel like like when I got my wisdom teeth out they fucking knocked me out so I didn't I wasn't awake for that um, so I just was super nervous and when the lady came in to get me she was like how you feeling and I'm like honestly I'm still a little nervous and she's like really like we kind of gave you a lot of drugs and I'm like I don't know dude I'm very aware of like what I'm about to do right now so they were like don't worry when you go in the room they give you more so like you're not gonna you're not gonna feel it and so oh my god this is kind of funny so they put me on the table. I was kind of awake, like I had like my eyes open and I was like looking around, I remember that. 
but I don't really remember much. I don't remember. It did not hurt at all because they did give me this shot that was like probably like extra Valium. They're like, bitch, calm down. But one thing I did do because I wasn't knocked out, I like reached up during the surgery and I guess I was like about to like touch my chin during the surgery and I just remember the lady like yelling at me like, oh my God, don't do that. And I was like, oh, sorry. And I like put my arms down again. Like, can I grow up please? Like, why am I doing that? After the surgery, they were like freaked out by the fact that I told them I was gonna get an Uber, which I understand. So <laughs> I, leave like afterwards and they're like whoa like they were like really nervous that I was gonna like fall and um so they put me in the room give me my clothes back to put on I had this huge head wrap on they put these like pads under my chin and then they wrap I looked ridiculous and I put my hoodie on they put me in the room and like I got dressed and so I literally go out in the lobby I'm on my phone I order an uber I was like all right I'm getting picked up bye and they're like oh you're good to go and i'm like yep i told you so i got in the uber with a freaking thing wrapped around my damn head looking crazy as hell i get back to the airbnb it was amazing it was like i had my own little like surgery recovery room i just loved it so i went in and i just rested i watched some netflix I rested my chin and i woke up in the morning it hurt i remember i was it felt weird i remember the feeling so i got off in the morning to take a look at it and i was jumping in the shower like i said i'm not quite sure if you're supposed to do it that quickly but i did and um, i took it off and i was just very quick in the shower washed um everything very gently and then i put a fresh clean two pads under my chin and then wrapped it around and um it felt like when i touched it i remember it felt like really numb the whole under part felt numb and weird and it almost like made you a little nauseous when you touched it because it had no nerves like all the nerves had been kind of severed and they needed to heal um now it's fine like it doesn't doesn't affect me at all it's been six months i will show you pictures of what i looked like before and what i look like after So these are pictures from right after. I'll be able to see like how much fat I had under my chin. It was bizarre. It was like bizarre for like a person my size to have that much fat under their chin. Like it was like I had more fat under my chin than on my stomach. Like it was bizarre. Oh, I, I wanted to mention afterwards what happened, what it took to heal. Um, it was really swollen for like a couple weeks. I want to say like up to six weeks it was pretty swollen like the swelling looked weird it didn't look like down right away at all um, but I could definitely tell that it was going to be really impressive um, I did notice I did have lumps under here and I was really scared about that because I was like oh my gosh what if they don't go away um, it went away it totally went away it softened up it's it's liquid that hardens and it's also a little scar tissue that softens over time and you just kind of run your knuckles um, pretty firmly under there if you feel those and you do that for like a couple minutes a day um, and it will soften it's not gonna stay like that I barely did it I did it like a few times and then I kind of just let it soften on its own I don't have those lumps and it's six months later so just be aware that that can happen it's not totally like a freaky thing or a permanent thing I mean you can address it but he said it was really normal yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this um, if you have any questions about it just leave them below but yeah I just wanted to be real with you guys and tell you something that really changed my life because I was very insecure about it and you know I know a lot of people probably are insecure about it and there's not a lot of videos on the internet about this specific type of liposuction and results you can get so hopefully it was helpful and hopefully I was being transparent enough with you guys I just don't want to like come across as having plastic surgery in private and not telling people about it because to in this day in age people are just you know pretending that they're born with bodies that they weren't born with and I just don't think it's right so even though it's technically not your business I think it is so um, 
hopefully this was helpful and it, hopefully you enjoyed even if you're not getting it but i will see you guys in my next video bye